As promised, we have Dan Smith from Vail Mountain Rescue learning about some recent missions that they've been on. And Dan, it's an interesting time of year. We have a lot of hunters that are in the area and it's busy for you guys. Oh, it's very busy and uh, this last uh, Sunday when I didn't make it here that morning, we finished that mission after your show. Uh, guys went out about six in the evening for a young man who had damaged his back trying to lift an elk quarter oh, wow. on the, the uh, north face of Grouse Mountain. So they drove up top of Beaver Creek, Beaver Creek security let him through and then hiked three and a half miles down to him, found him, uh, and we're gonna have to carry him out. This is the classic no aviation, uh, just put him in a litter and take him out, but out is 6.8 miles downhill or fighting back up three and a half miles. They opted to go the 6.8 down. Uh, we sent another team in to meet them coming up West Grouse Trail, so they met about probably halfway, and we had 18 people carrying this young man out. Oh, uh, wow. You can put six folks on a litter at a time, and you can last about 20 minutes. I mean, okay. uh, I last about 10 at my age, <laughs> but I mean, the young kids last about 20 minutes because you're just burned, and you've got one arm that's now about six inches longer than the other, so you have to swap out. So 18 people was kind of a minimum. It gave you three rotations, and it took, uh, well, six, seven hours. Oh, wow. Eight hours to get him out. Okay, yeah, and you know, he, he got his elk, he was all excited, well, but loading that the out. We to... left the elk in. We needed yeah. all the people. <laughs> Hopefully they went back to get the elk. Okay. And, and we're expecting an elk to be delivered to us soon, as yeah. soon as it's packaged. Maybe a little elk chili for elk, the team. It's time for the elk chili <laughs> for the team. But these, this, these people had gear. They were able to get a cell phone call out to us. They were high enough up on grouse, they could hit the cell tower. Uh, had they been way down on the valley, somebody's going to have to hike up mm -hmm. to get that cell phone hit. Uh, and this is uh, all hands, everybody we can get. And as I say, Battalion 7 loaned us to uh, Wildland Crew, so they're two guys that are, are really good. And we took a paramedic in with us because we didn't know what we were going to walk in yeah. with, into. And uh, he, they uh, mitigated the kid's pain and uh, for seven or eight hours out oh, on wow. a litter. And so that's a toughie. But that's what we're here for. Yes. Uh, it's, that's what the kids sign up for. I mean, it, it's not all flying around in helicopters and doing stuff like that. It's muddy, sloppy, wet work for hours and hours and hours. And, and that's what they do. Now, the, they is the people half my age. I'm the one sitting in the warm room on the radio <laughs> plotting it on yeah. a map doing navigation for them because they are carrying a spot beacon. So I can, we can tell where they are on the ground against the satellite photo. And if they're on one side of a tree line and the trail's on the other, we can say, okay, now all you have to do is take a bearing of 180. When you pop through those trees, you'll be back and you'll be able to see the kid. We can do that kind of long distance navigation for them by the radio. And that's, that's my job anymore. Okay. Yes, and now we're seeing the weather start to change. Oh. Snow has moved into the area. Temperatures, especially up in the high country, can really cool down at night. Oh, very much. So our second mission was a hunter up on Muddy Pass. Note the name, Muddy Pass. It's named that for a very good reason. This gentleman got his truck stuck, really stuck, uh, to the point that uh, at the end of the, the mission we got him out, they had to send a bulldozer back up to uh, pull oh, the wow. truck out. And that, that's not cheap, by the way. Uh, and he spent the first night out with his truck, hoping to get a tow the next day, and the tow couldn't get him out. He declined to spend the second night out. He called us. We went up, brought him out on ATVs. Uh, but it's, it, the, the weather is sloppy up there, so yes. you be prepared for a lot of wet. This, this gentleman had gear, he's a very experienced hunter, uh, perhaps not as an experienced truck driver, or the, that road is unforgiving. I've, I've never gotten a truck stuck on it, I've had to dig ATVs out before. Yes, definitely. Uh, so it, it's just, you have to know what you're doing up here and then you have to be willing to call. Okay. All right. Well, Dan, thank you so much for being there. The team, it's an all volunteer run team at Vail Mountain Rescue. And if you're looking to join them, VailMountainRescue.org can help you out with the details. We have weather details up next. We're going to find out, is it going to be muddy today? Is it going to stick around for a while? And what the temperatures are going to be like with Leo?